Hey guys, Chris and Gina here and Little Harrison with Hollywood Haunter and today we are at Shiver Haunted House Ooh. and I have the creators Gwen and David. Thank you guys so much for letting us come yes. and check this out. No problem. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah. We have been through their haunted house last year and this year, but never during the daytime and I'm excited. Ooh, if that crow is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm excited because you guys, I know you're going to have so many tips and tricks to help us, right? Maybe. No, I know. <laughs> I know they do. I know they do. And I'm excited. Yeah. So we're standing in front of your guys' facade right now. You want to tell us a little bit about how you created it? Gwen carved all that by hand. Uh, and painted it in. Did you guys hard coat that with anything? Is there yeah. like a mortar? It's, uh, or... Yeah, it's a uh, mortar and paint. Well, that's cool. Tell us about these candelabras. Those are awesome. These are on loan from Restless Souls. <laughs> Greg uh, lent these to us for this year. Cool. They are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's all I can really say neat. is they're, they're beautiful. They light up fantastic. And he just does such a great job on everything he does. And, you know, they work great out in front here our contribution to that was adding more vines yeah no i love it i love all the greenery uh, more greenery i love how you guys uh added some paint and aging to those brick paneling because like we use brick paneling like that in the past but we didn't actually ever paint or do anything to it no we didn't that, looks that was good. all her yeah i did that last year and so we used just sponge painting for that yeah, yeah. it's it's it looks so much more haunted house like. Yeah. <laughs> I was going for a Gotham City kind yeah, of. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. And actually, you know, there's windows cut in those, but we were we able to, to you know, whole. strategically oh, okay. do this. Oh no, this one's right side up. This one's upside, upside down. down. So the windows down here. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, cool. Yeah. So we were able to cover it up and repurpose, so we didn't have to buy new panels. Is this uh, little archway? Is this part of your uh, garden and house that you have all the all year long, or well, is this just for actually, the actually Shannon gave us that. Uh, okay. She, she was moving, and she's like, "Hey, you guys want to borrow this?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Last thing for her to move, and so. We totally said absolutely. It makes the perfect entrance. And our contribution so, to that was the vines. More vines, more foliage, more, you know, the lanterns, you know, all that fun stuff. We're so lucky because we have two huge haunter groups here in SoCal. So we have the SoCal Valley Haunters and we have Cal Haunts. And so if we mention some people by name, it's probably someone from one of those groups. So It is. Yeah. Both are from Cal, Cal Haunts and yeah. SoCal Valley Haunters. Yeah. 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 And we do. We have so many members of each and it's so nice because we can trade stuff and the ideas and the endless possibilities and all the make and takes we get to do we're very blessed here oh it's yeah, yeah it's fantastic having and it's that a great community awesome. that are willing to let us borrow things <laughs> yeah <laughs> totally yeah. And it's cool because if you switch stuff up or if some year you're dark or something mm -hmm. like that you can go you know last year when i went through your haunt i saw are you going to be using that? <laughs> <laughs> that's the perfect spot for it so can you tell us a little bit about how you made those vines the vines are just simple just a uh, cotton rope with um, uh, mix some paint with latex or with uh, silicone they feel gross gross almost. yeah uh, so <laughs> kind of slimy and that's one thing everyone plays with them when they come in they're like oh these are really cool they feel awesome it's so, like a stress ball yeah, yeah that's <laughs> so, a great idea you guys so did. you can see a lot of the imperfections during the day but at night you can, can't see any of it you know there's still some rope showing through but that yeah, they're awesome. real kind of just neat feeling. Yeah. <laughs> neat and squishy. Are you mm. ready to go inside, Harrison? Let's go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the greenery you guys have in here. I always love going into these parts of haunted you houses. The smell? Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, we got speakers, computer speakers mounted everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that's um, cool. You just find them at old garage sales, or did you just have I, a whole I bunch actually of them? I had to buy those ones. But uh, one thing that's actually worked really well this year are the Ryobi wireless speakers that they have. They have the score speakers. Yeah. Those are fantastic. Ryobi discontinued them. Really? So I went to buy another couple sets of them, couldn't find them, but the Ryobi, little Ryobi radios yeah. that you have the auxiliary port, those work fantastic too. So we're okay. able to use those and use all of our Ryobi batteries and they last 
the whole weekend. That is so, a great idea you got. You I know, never it's, thought it's about like using cheap those. MP3 players. Yeah. And yeah. they sound, they're better than most of the computer speakers as far as volume and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. These so. panels are awesome. Where did you guys come across these? These are just rolls of, you know, Ivy, which uh, Jason, oh. you know, and had a bunch of extra. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He had a bunch and I'm like, yeah. yes, we need them because we did a whole swamp last year. Yeah. And so we bought you know, whatever he had left over. And we thought this would be a cool entrance corridor. Yeah. Um, because our theme this year was, you know, circus came to town. They left, but they left the clowns behind. So the okay. clowns have to wander through the forest, through the cemetery, and they stumble across the Zimro's house. And then they proceed to take over the house and slaughter everyone inside and, you know, <laughs> turn it into a clown house. And eat them. So, and eat them. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a great place. Yeah. I like how you guys put the black plastic on the on the over the roof. It really blocks out all the light. It makes does, it dark in here. It adds heat. I yeah. Mean, the stuff's not cheap, but it's worth it. Yeah. It's really, really worth it. Last year, it really saved us because we had some very uh, big rains last year. Yeah. Yes. And wind and everything. And the way I secure this, you know, I staple it down at first around there. Yeah. And then I build like little just plates, you know, yes. from like plywood and just screw those down. Sandwich and that, it. Yeah. That just keeps it fine. Yep. So that's a smart way uh, to do it. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize, but you guys have a, a scare spot right here, right? We yeah. Do. Yeah. We you know, have... I didn't realize that. We have an actor that. Uh, <laughs> That's exactly how it works. But you, you actually see the actor when you walk in, and we have a UV light up here, so it illuminates his mask and his gloves and everything else he's wearing is black. Yeah. So all you see is the mask and the white gloves, and he's like sticking out, leaning when you enter from there, and then he like tucks himself back in there, and then he you know scares as you walk because yeah. everyone's paying Again. attention to that. <laughs> yeah. You know he. That he comes out and scares him. He does exactly He's a that. Natural. And then, and then uh, you know, and then once the people are totally distracted by this and they turn around, we actually right behind you is a drop down panel. Oh, that's so, really cool, you guys. It's camouflaged right there. Yes. And it, um, and it's a total distraction. It works great. People have been yeah. screaming, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Night. Whoa. Smell my feet. <laughs> Ew. Hey, how did you get on that side? You were just in here. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. Many, many bruises. Your scare actor got me so good because I was walking right here and she literally like dropped in and went, ah! Like, <laughs> I was, I was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, she got me really good. Yeah. <laughs> really good. The only two people I know that could scream like that all night long for nights on end are her and Dana. Yeah. So they can, they both just have an incredible scream. We built this, uh, it was kind of a last minute thing for a projector because we were going to do some projection stuff and then we realized we didn't have the time or the distance to execute it properly so we decided not to do it. We poured um, skull molds from Nightmare Makers. Okay. Okay. And then That's cool. Hard coated them with another. Uh, hard coat of grout and yeah paint yeah and uh, and then Gwen aged them a bit Gina yeah. you're always uh, recommending the nightmare maker molds oh, huh? man. all I the wish, time I wish I got a dollar for every time <laughs> I, yeah. I could fund a haunt <laughs> well, we, you know we had used them for the midsummer screen build yeah you know, with the whole Cal Hans group yeah and I was like, yeah, we need one of those. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so They're cool. Yeah, we got one, them. and I figure you're able to, you know, I was doing different things with them to where, you know, the jaws are degraded and other parts are yeah. degraded, and they sit differently. So I would adjust my pour into the mold just to give them a little different characteristics. I love how you guys use the uh, free, those, uh, what are those? Freezer like, curtains. Freezer curtains. Yeah. That's yeah, cool. You know, a lot of the places I looked at, um, this stuff was outrageously expensive, but yeah. I found a place online where I was able to get a huge roll of it for like 50 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah. I still have a bunch left. You um, guys pump a lot of fog in this room, right? Yeah. A lot of fog. There are yeah. five lasers in here to give it that, you know, swampy effect. You know, we put, we have two fog machines going. Both With of the them. Fans. Yeah. Both of them, uh, you know, are chiller fog machines. You know, they're the cheap spirit ones. Yeah. Because they ended up working the best. Last year, I had my really nice fog machines with a nice chiller, and it got so cold that it 
didn't do it. It's just the fog was just so dense that it okay. wouldn't do anything. So I got these two and they seem to work fantastic. And uh, I run through there and then I have two battery powered fans that disperse the fog once it comes out. So, okay. You know, cold, chilled fog wants to sit where it's at. Yeah. And then these two little battery powered fans just gives it that perfect movement. All these things are the lasers and uh, it's just oh. it's just black wrap. Yeah. Okay. Above them. So because I noticed when I first did it, you know, you walk in and you're getting blinded by lasers. You can yeah. see them. So the, just black wrap with some black cloth tape. My nine oh, volt lights. Yeah. Tell I us need... about those. <laughs> uh, they're just cheap and easy. You've made some PVC lights because i needed some lights on other things i'm like i'm not running more power i you know all my ghost lights are in use so i just made these it's just i could hook a nine volt battery up to i left a couple of them plugged in for uh like four days and they were still on so That's cool um, oh, wow. and they're just 10 millimeter leds just white leds and i just gel the ones i want yeah you know That's so cool what a great so idea. i have those a great idea. scattered around yeah it's you know you need to check the batteries yeah and replace batteries which is kind of a pain but you know what for what we needed to do it worked and they're real quick and easy with the little you know connectors that you have you just unplug them and plug them back in. I love all the artwork you guys have on them. Yeah. Who got to do all of that? <laughs> yeah. Except for that one. Yeah. This was done this by... This was done by Javier, also a Cal Haunt member who used to be a, a Venice street artist. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. And he That's really cool. He does Clown Town. Oh, yeah. Here yeah. In Valencia. And so he came and did that for us. But everything else, I did all of those. And then make clowns great again. That's really yeah. Cool. yeah. This is just a coffin and a, you know, a corpse skeleton that's full of cobwebs that, you know, got spray painted by the clowns. Yeah. <laughs> so they took over the cemetery. Yeah. yeah. So they just, you know, they had their own personal did, touch. Had yeah. some scrap wood laying around last year and built the coffins. I love yeah. that you spray painted it. That's yeah. Awesome. It's awesome. It's so much fun. That's, you know, that's kind of what we try and do is add fun and humor. Yeah. I, I don't really enjoy going to haunts where they like really try and like creep you out. Yeah. That's yeah. my jam. Yeah. It's just our personality. Either. Either. Yeah. <laughs> but I love when it's like you get scared and then you laugh because you're having right. such a fun time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Instead of like, oh my God, get me out of here now. <laughs> Are all these skulls uh, from the same mold? Yep. Well, that's all from cool. the same mold. Uh, you could see, like I was talking about, a lot of different characteristics to them. Yeah. Um, I like to put the clown noses on them. <laughs> yeah, what they, yeah, we wanted them to look uh, a little different than just like aged. Yeah. Um, we wanted to make it look like they were kind of swampy and mossy. So we, yeah. did a, um, we did the white paint on them as the base coat and then did a layer of green stain. Okay. And then did like an espresso stain to them. No, they and look so awesome. So you, you get some green tones and stuff. You don't really see it a ton in the dark, but no. you know, no, it's something we want it. to do. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you guys make that pneumatic prop? No, or is that's that something... actually an old DC props pop-up skeleton that we actually bought from Reign of Terror. This thing's got so much force to it. Yeah. Um, last year we had it bolted to a pallet with like a bunch of sandbags on it. Yeah. That didn't work. So this year I the put sandbags went flying. Yeah. Oh so, wow. So I mounted it to a piece of plywood and some heavy two by sixes. There's a subframe underneath of two by fours, and then I put uh, made forms and poured concrete on both sides. So these forms are all concrete on both sides, so it That's doesn't crazy. doesn't move at all. It's completely stable and it's also rebarred into the ground. <laughs> so I put Jeez. rebar, you know, on each corner. And just slammed it into the ground. Yeah. And and you don't see this underneath the fog and it comes out and it comes up to right about here. Yeah. So it's right there when people see it. And then it's lit from two different sides with a couple of different colors. Yeah. So No, it's in a perfect spot. The other night when I walked through here and I was like, Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, there's you know, just yep. a beam trigger that runs across. I have it, you know, the reflectors underneath the coffin over there. Instead of hammering down your your stanchion poles, you've got them on like two by fours and stuff. That's kind of like is a directional thing. The two by fours also are rebarred into the ground. Yeah. As well, so they're pretty stable. You know, yeah. overall, people aren't yanking on them or anything. So if someone did, you know fall into one they'll just fall over and won't hurt anybody yeah but, but it, it adds as like a guide like yeah. a, it's yeah. like a and nice it little traffic in the room longer 
Yeah. So it's not just a straight shot through. Exactly. You have to walk and look at everything. Yeah. This thing is really cool. Well, this is something else we got help with. So Shannon and Hector from Kel Hans, uh came one day when actually we were at Queen Mary. Uh, and they put it together for us out of all the foam like we got from... We found a bunch of play, a place up in Valencia doing construction. Foam. They had all yeah. this free foam. So we that had, is so awesome, so guys. Eight blocks of foam here that are all pieced together with great stuff. Wow. And then Shannon carved everything here, and then she actually did the Zimrose, which is a combination of our names, Zimlin and then Rosenthal, and carved all that freehand. Yeah. So it was a nice surprise to come home to. Yeah. She did, she did the hard coating on it and the aging and everything, and I can't tell you what she did, but she yeah. just... She's that's really talented, isn't job. she? Yep, yeah. yeah. No, she, she Everyone, she's always helping everybody yeah. and doing so much yeah. for the community. That's Everyone awesome. needs to demand Shannon do more tutorials on how to do it. <laughs> and then we were going to do a projection, which is what I had that thing built for. And I, we just realized, you know what, we don't have the room right now and everything. And I'm like, I'm just going to cut the back off and we'll do rear projection. She's like, yeah. look, we don't have time to work on that. Yeah. Because we were getting down to the wire. We finished yeah. everything probably 15 minutes after we opened. Those, uh, they were given to us by okay. uh, Kirk Higgins. Um, they were given to him from someone else, too. Oh, wow. So That's pretty cool, though, like, to cool. hide a light inside a, a column, you know? Yeah, there's a... also, it, you know, it's like a strobe that yeah. goes off. Yeah. Um, there's also, uh, you know, a speaker in here. And there's a car stereo in there that plays the track. That's crazy. <laughs> so, and, um... And they work great. Is there another one that you can connect it to that has more speakers in it? Right there. And then, okay. So, okay. yeah, there's, you just have uh, one cable going to the other one. Yeah. And it communicates. They both communicate and both play and both have strobes in them. Again, I love all the vines and stuff that you hung up. Um, you, is, that the, is that the little guy the from the... Uh, from the plane. Yeah. That's so he cool. He was the guy hanging on the wing. That's uh, awesome. Playing the midsummer screen. Yeah. Very detailed little creepy guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, Kate's work. Kate from Calhans did those, and she just did an incredible job. Yeah, you know, but she of... did so many. She's like, I don't want to see him ever again. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, you know, Jasper, you know, um, from Mr. Chiggins did a make and take with us with our group. On yeah, his corpsing technique with the paper towels and paint. Yep, and Kate just went yeah, with that and went. just ran with it and just you know did her own thing and. Yeah, you know, that's how she did those. So that's done with that method of the uh, paint with the paper towels. And that that looks a lot creepier than Jasper's little <laughs> guy. That's yeah. for sure. His stuff's awesome. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. The happy face. <laughs> yeah, totally. Tinka, 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 tinka. Hey, knock that off. You guys got some tombstones. Yes. Yeah. That's cool. Now, this facade here, did you guys make this uh, facade with the siding <laughs> on it and stuff? This is a loner from, uh, again, from Greg. Oh, um, at, uh, cool. Souls. He said, oh, yeah, I got one in storage we could use because we were going to build a whole facade here. And he's like, yeah. oh, I have something in storage we can It'll use. It'll work. And it's he perfect. couldn't get to it. Yeah. So he didn't tell us this at first. He couldn't get to it. And he just built this one for us like in a day and brought it over. Well, I was going to so, say, because it, I was like, it's amazing how it fit into yeah. your guys' yeah. situation. So, so, but if he made it, helps yeah. you guys. That's, that's awesome. Did. The sconces yeah. came from Reign of Terror and I put those up and I have uh, battery powered uh, flame bulbs in there that are rechargeable, nice. like USB rechargeable. They last all night and you know, they look great. And so you could see that. As a contrast with the green yeah. and everything when you're walking in here. And it also hides our actors pretty decent, <laughs> too, because, uh, you know, your vision is, you know, you're focused on those. And yeah. it kind of creates more shadows to where you can't see the actors that are in here. That's so, cool, you guys. Yeah. She was awesome. in here last night scaring people. But I was under the fog. Yeah. So. And tickling them with the rose. <laughs> yeah. that, that was a very effective scare. Yeah. yeah. And then she'd come out from underneath. And, yeah. But I'm paying for it today. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed you guys put two two by fours together and you braced it with some plumber's tape or plumber's uh -huh. strap yeah, stuff that works pretty extra. good. Like it holds up the the tarp. Yeah, that's There's all it was yeah. there for. I yeah. needed it just for extra support on the roof. Yeah. You know, I was going to go buy a 14 foot piece of lumber, and Greg's like, you got no. these two by fours, just yeah. use these. Yeah. So he saved us some money. And, totally. You know, there's like uh, there's like eight 
you know, screws in there, eight, like sure. three and a half inch screws. And I just, you know, Hector said, yeah, maybe do the plumber's tape to kind of yeah. just give it a little extra in case it sure. rains. So we just did that. I did it on one of them. I didn't have time to do it on the other one. Yeah. No, no, it's <laughs> but, awesome. You know, so, but it did what I needed it to do. It's not really supporting any real weight. No, no. You know, but. Do you guys have to replace your tarps every year? Or oh, is this it, tarps. This is pretty yeah, old. Yeah, this tarp's going to probably be done, you know. This one was this. new, though. Yeah. Yeah, this was new. Uh, luckily, I have a friend that sells tarps online. So yeah. I can order a bunch of stuff for him pretty cheap. It's He's, crazy how fast you know, the sun destroys yeah. these with the wind and everything that's one of the yeah. problems he's actually working with his manufacturer to try and make these tarps a lot more durable yeah so because diane was saying the same thing she's got it's issues crazy with the tarps. so and i put her in contact with my friend and he's like yeah we're working on it and uh hopefully they can get things that are a little more durable yeah and last longer because yeah. i know a lot of hunters would like them and yeah um you know they're yeah best price around on tarps you know, yeah. you get a whole box of blue tarps for like, you know, 40 bucks. <laughs> See you later. This is a, a creepy little living room looking type of uh, family room. This is, you know, where they get together and, you know, read literature and take care of the children. What you reading? Code of Civil Procedure. Hmm. Uh, you know, people are going to come in and look behind the door, so let's just throw something yeah. behind the door. So Totally. We got this guy several years back, and we're like, yeah, let's just throw him in here. You know, he doesn't really do much. You know, yeah. His things are all falling down and all that. Yeah. You know, he's missing a hand. He's missing a knife. But, That's the you know. best kind, though. Like, they <laughs> fill the space. Is this one of the Shining Twin Girl dresses? It is one of her dresses, yes. I thought David I recognized that. I dressed that. up for Monster Palooza. And that is one of our dresses. I believe it is the 2X, which was David's size. <laughs> so is there an actual window behind that curtain? There is or? no window behind there. That's cool. So, <laughs> it's a nice clean panel. That's all. And it looks like like several people were, were injured in this room because I see a lot of bloody handprints. Yes, we had, Gwen did some, <laughs> our daughter did some. Yeah, we had lots of help, you know, splattering out. Put it in our hand and flung it on the walls, which is super fun. That was a fun date night, huh? That was fun. <laughs> yeah. We splurged on a gallon of perma blood last year, and you know we still have a lot left. You know, it just looks wet. It's, yeah. You know. Yeah. Great, and it stands out really well. What about the pictures? Where did you get all these uh, family portraits from? <laughs> Those I got off of awkwardfamilyphotos.com. Oh, how funny! So you can see that. This little fella here has joined the family. <laughs> <laughs> and these are real pictures, right? These are real pictures. <laughs> and then there's uh, one of my favorites is with the gun. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right oh, here. my goodness. <laughs> Check that out. That is crazy. Some of them are defaced by the clowns. And, you know, and you'll see as we progress how they kind yeah. of turn to clowns. What about all of your, like, furniture and stuff. Do you guys go to thrift stores? Are you guys doing uh, yard sales? Are no. you <laughs> curb uh, finds? Actually, this is all our patio furniture. <gasps> what? So... <laughs> oh my goodness. We just had all this white fabric and so we just um, threw perma blood on top of that and covered all of our furniture. So these are the rockers. Cool. And then that's our rocker couch and then another little rocker and then there's a little side table that we use. These curtains, did you just shred some material? Again, we had just so much white material from over the years. Yeah. That, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, you can't tell, but it's a little bit, like, brown and dirty. But, yeah. Uh, just shredded it, and it kind of came out to look like this really awesome, like, curtain with all the layers. And how did you, like, for brown and dirty, did you just kind of rub it in the dirt, or did you spray some uh, watered down paint? It's not that complicated. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> They're just used. Uh, it's, been, it's been outside for several years. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so it's weathered. Weathered, uh, there you go. Naturally. <laughs> so we got a little help from Mother Nature. Now these are my favorite, and when I walked through, she was drawing a big old heart on the wall. It was awesome, and I was like, those blood walls are amazing. They are pretty Amazing. Now, did you get these at Midsummer? Or is this yeah. a different? Wow, that is so cool. So I yeah, I got these, these at Midsummer Scream. They're color-changing shower curtains. 
And so we decided to do this and, you know, create a wall panel. Like, is the whole wall just bloody there for no, a little it, while? It or dries. Is it, that's it dries so awesome. It dries pretty quick. Especially with the heat and, yeah. you know, so dry out here. Yeah. Uh, so probably about five, ten minutes it dries. That and is so cool. We don't have cool. any fans on them. We thought we would have to, but we didn't have to do that. Well, they looked like they were selling, like, hot cakes at midsummer. Yeah, they I were. Saw, yeah. The last day of midsummer, they were, like, half price. So I grabbed another thing. Nice. So I was like, you know. They're cool. You know, we knew we wanted to have like a blood room like this, you know, yeah. like this toilet room where just everything went to hell. And uh, But to have one that you can actually exactly. constantly do stuff to, that's a really cool idea. And our have. actors, like I said, harass people and write, you know, yeah. harassing messages on the, <laughs> you know, on the wall. That prop right there looks like something that I would find at Tim's haunt at the farm. Actually, it's funny you say that because <laughs> Tim lent us this. <laughs> So Tim's like, I got some silicone bodies. You want them? He's like, you got to use them. You got to yeah. use them. Because Tim likes gore like we do. Oh, yeah. He's got his little remote in his hand. And, I know. It's like he's got... Yeah. And, you, know, he just, you know, he's got a whole rib cage and everything in there. He's really cool. It's all silicone. It's just... Yeah. You know, it feels weird. That's, you know, yeah. something Gwen threw in there. Kind of yeah. like an entrail. Needs more blood, though, as far as I'm concerned. Sure, so, sure. That's yeah. pretty awesome, though. Man. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks pretty realistic, that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that looks freaking real. Yeah. So I've yeah. come in here a few times and been like, you know, coming yeah. here at night and I'm kind of taken aback by it. Yeah. Plus, people walk by and they can bump it and go, yeah, oh! Exactly. Ah. It feels really weird. He's got legs. Looks like he's been charred. Chainsaw. They got William Wallace here sitting on the sofa. Now your little TV prop is that is that just, a, just like a yeah you know, like a store bought stupid little you know one of those nightmare TV things yeah I, I don't know where she found that like Best Buy or somewhere you know you have a creepy little baby in a basket we have lots of <laughs> we have lots of creepy babies we had to use one at least you know there's a couple throughout but that's one thing we don't have any shortage of in this household are yeah. creepy dolls and babies and stuff. <laughs> So yeah. yeah, we could pick that one up at Midsummer Scream too. Yeah. So we yeah. saw that and we're like, yeah, we gotta kind of have that. <laughs> yeah, Gwen, she she pushes around a stroller full of a bunch of creepy babies as Usually, well. Like yeah. she's, I think she's the scariest thing at this haunt. <laughs> she definitely makes people feel very uncomfortable. uncomfortable. You just have all your regular clamp lights hooked up to some kind of dimming system. Um, or? I just have, you know, I have an inline dimmer yeah. at the outlet that just, That's you know. Cool. I can just control that one and that one. That That's one, nice. I have a dimmer right up here. Yeah. You know, it was like, I don't know, seven bucks for the dimmer. On its own, this is bright, but it adds a very kind of just creepy, sort of just weird, you know, kind of dirty vibe to it. Sure. So, These wall panels, are they? do you store them as like frames and then you just screw plywood to them? Or are those plywood always fixed to it? Or how do you use usually... Some of them are completely disassembled. Yeah. And I keep some of the better panels... All in one piece. All in one piece. And then, you know, I can unscrew the frames and then fit them inside of the other panels. Oh, that's So that cool. I can, you know, save yeah. a little bit on space. Yeah. And then we just stack them up around the yard. We have little stacks that we wrap up and try yeah. and make them look nice. But, you cool. know, and then everything else goes to a storage. Yeah. You know, place or our garage. You know, it's been nice. our garage, our extra bedroom. <laughs> we finally got a storage place, you know. <laughs> What you cutting there? <laughs> He's so good. Wanna help me? No. Love how you guys separate each one of your rooms with uh, with some kind of material or like the the freezer yeah. uh, drop. Like you have to push your way through something, and then there's something right there. Just exactly. Surprising. Yeah. It's just a good transition. It just yeah. breaks things up. Yeah. You know, just a bunch of material and. At night, you can see, you know, from the UV light of the next area, it makes this whole uh, thing glow. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, when you're in there, you see like this glowing, you know, curtain. You're like, uh, do I got to walk through there? Yeah. And I mean, this is just, you know, a guy that we had <laughs> around and we're like, you know, let's put something there. It was kind of like sure. you know, the same situation with the clown behind the door. Yeah. We're like, we got this prop, let's just use it. Yeah. You know, we don't turn them on or anything, we just let them be static. I think uh, we got it in spirit. Okay. 
Gwen's got this habit of seeing something she really likes. She's like, oh, that's really cool and creepy. And she'll just buy it. So, <laughs> you know, she always does that. What's cool about having your haunt in the backyard or on dirt mm -hmm. is that when you walk, the unlevelness. And, exactly. And you, it, it adds a little something, something to it. You yeah. Know, instead of it just being... It, does our dogs like digging holes they come in here and they <laughs> dig holes so every night before we open i'm here with a bag of sand you know filling in any <laughs> holes and stuff like that i oh, notice on your walls you got some uh like some stencil painted like a like a wallpaper kind yeah of we actually or? use this again this is a repurpose from last year yeah uh Gwen, we were looking for like wallpaper and stuff like that and wallpaper was just you know what we wanted to find it was hard to find yeah. it was expensive expensive and we're like so yeah. forget it so we just went to michael's found a stencil we like and that's painted cool. the base coat and then painted you know just spray painted this there's tons of overspray and stuff but you yeah know, you can't you don't see it at night you know you'll see little you know yeah areas. so we repurposed that we got molding and stuff yeah you know, to separate it which was all donated to us from you know a friend of ours gave us a bunch of molding and we just painted it and put it up more pictures from the awkward family portrait yep. website mm -hmm. these are fantastic this is another personal favorite what? like the goth family oh nice <laughs> <laughs> i love the hairstyles the random cat in the picture <laughs> It's like, what are you guys doing to me? And another happy family. <laughs> oh, is that a knife? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the before photo? Yes. <laughs> oh, and then the clown. I love that you put little bells on everything. That's a good touch. Yeah. People well, don't expect that. In this room, you've got some black light going on with some glow yeah, paint. Yeah, clowns are starting to take over the house and turn it into their, uh, you know, domain gwen did all of this yeah she did all that's of the, awesome you know, she did such a good job making it run yeah she did a pretty good job that, on this. that's kind of cool to age with a glow paint like yeah. to create like a run i thought it would be look with pretty cool it looks like you added some glow paint like to some of these little heads eyes and stuff like that yeah little bits here and there i have an air cannon i have a button mounted here and the actor just you know <laughs> hits that it's, that's uh, cool the compressor's not on right now so it's very low pressure, yeah but i'm running it pretty high so it blows it startles you when you when you do it you know and then of course you got to have the fire extinguisher down there there's a few oh fire yeah extinguishers no that's smart and, and then the air comes out yep, right there air comes out right there when people come through air cannons usually are what gets me oh yeah you know, i mean drop down panels for the most part don't get me there's not really much that's really gotten me yeah um but it always seems like when i do jump it's because of an air cannon so <laughs> yeah, there was yes. one i forget what maze it was but like they did, had an air cannon but it came at you from all different angles and it was the craziest thing because it's like you know, yeah that's like, crazy yeah and it was all at the same time yeah huh? so it's like they had different hoses so i wanted to try and do something like that for next year there is an actual window right here so oh that's nice get a little air, air. Here. Yeah, yeah yeah that's great got panels stored back there <laughs> a bunch of dog crap you know yeah <laughs> so fruit trees you know for actors get hungry they could just grab a lime or something <laughs> you know they need a cocktail or something you know now this was one of the rooms when i walked through it i was like how many actors are in here because i didn't know which one was moving <laughs> which ones were i mean it was crazy because there was somebody standing in the corner right there and then i think you had someone under the table yep and then i thought that these people People sitting here and stuff were maybe more actors it it was a uh, I pretty much ran through this scene <laughs> seems like a lot of people do yeah they, uh, they've been getting a little freaked out by this room you have like a bed sheet or something on there is that uh or is yes. that an actual tablecloth no actually this is a sheet I use that to make the curtain nice and the tablecloth and underneath we actually had originally planned this oh. to be uh, a pop-up pop up. um but the actor his neck was hurting too much oh sure and so we decided after the second night of trying that yeah that we would just put granny and she would be the meal and then next year we think we're gonna put uh um something else underneath there does that have play milk in it or did you put something in there to look like milk that is uh, glue with food coloring. <gasps> that is great. Yeah, and that's from the dollar store, sugar and spice and everything nice. <laughs> All the pictures in here are clowns. 
Yeah. You know, you got Wrinkles, you got Pennywise, you got Art the Clown, you got, you know, of course, you know, Sid Haig, Captain Spaulding. Yeah. You know, it's our tribute. You got, you know, Gacy. Because we love clowns. Sure, sure. Yeah, we have all <laughs> these. Got our little baby clown there. Got our little guy here. It's yeah. awesome. It's like a vintage old high chair right there. Yeah. So I forget where I think we found that on, uh, you know, on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I like so, these uh, flickering lights that you got. Now these are, these, what are those? Um, that one is a color piano. Okay. So uh, basically you just program it from an app. It'll do whatever you want pretty much. That's awesome. And then you just freaking unplug yeah. it and, you know, just plug it in and it, it runs the program. Yeah. Uh, you could set it up to a trigger as well. Now in here, I noticed for the paper, you did find some wallpaper yeah, or something we, for this room. Uh, again, it was a donation from a friend of the studio. Okay. Um, you know, so we were able to get wallpaper and do this. Yeah. And of course we didn't like adhere it to the walls. You know, we just kind of attached it. How sure. We um, cause we didn't want to go find adhesive and roll it on no. and stuff like that. So this was a lot easier and you can't really tell no. you know, when you're coming through here in the dark anyway. Now you could so, be able to reuse it in some exactly. way too. So we'll be able to take the wallpaper off and use the wall panels yeah. without having to repaint and stuff like that. Cause wallpaper is a commodity. <laughs> I've yeah. learned. Did you add all this trim and yeah, stuff after the, you the, put the walls up or are these? Is yeah. The... Yeah. Uh, Gwen did. Gwen did everything in here. She did the wow. wallpaper, the molding. You got more of the, the freezer. Yeah, more freezer curtain, more permablood. You know, <laughs> people have been apprehensive. They're like, is that still wet? You know, they're looking through it and they're like, you know, they think it's still wet, so they're going to get all covered in it. So, yeah, which, Sure, sure. Uh, this is where, you know, they... Uh, the clowns store their parts. Yeah, you have meals. the really realistic rubberized <laughs> limbs from past victims. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and it's the she shed. You got you some know. really cool props, man. This like again a... came from the farm. Yeah. Thank you, that's, Tim. That's awesome. So, yeah, Tim let us borrow this. It's awesome. All these body parts and everything all came from Tim. Yeah, it's yeah. so cool. And we have some stuff there we got from Reign of Terror. Yeah, I think there's guys in the corner. It's another... Uh, color piano light that's cool I, know. I like how it flickers over all the landscaping tools yeah. and so whatnot and that's cool see, man you know this one's flickering in like a rapid heartbeat so now is there a scare actor that hangs out by the rakes there's two actors in here okay so there's two actors usually one somewhere over here and then one yeah on the other side okay because um, the li there was a little one that distracted me yeah, from the one hiding right here there. in the corner and that one got me man yeah, a lot yeah. of people come in and they're looking this way yep because that's where most that's, of the light is and everything that's they what i did because <laughs> we have a pretty bright like short circuit light over on this side yeah so people are like hey there's the exit and they don't yeah. bother even looking that way yeah and then they come around and then they're confronted by the little the little it guy <laughs> Yeah, that's a awesome it kid you know <laughs> yeah at, at first was... i was like you know eh, using you know little it you know i'm like yeah whatever <laughs> but the kid is freaking creepy yeah you know? and i have it on my ring camera yeah you know, of him yeah. people walking out and he's right behind them and they just freak out and just you know he chases people out so what's well, really funny fun. too because when i walked out um i didn't know whether i should go through the to the right through your black uh drop there uh -huh. and i turn around and He's pointing to the, the with his knife. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> yeah, his little mask back a little bit. It was cool. Some spots, you know, we have screws that go through the walls, through the panels. Sure. Oh. So what I did is we save wine corks, and just screw wine corks on them <laughs> to to cover, <laughs> to cover up the, the screws. Uh, yeah, and then just hit them with spray paint. So hey, that, I you like know, that. Someone doesn't dig into them. Yeah. And yeah, we, no, I like We have that. a lot of them, you know, every year. We drink a lot of wine. So, uh, <laughs> I know that what I've done in the past is added like a little one by three piece or, or plywood or something. Yeah. That's a lot easier. Faster. Yeah, I did a lot of that last year and I was yeah. like, you know, and there were a couple last year. I'm like, oh, I got support will work fine. Yeah. Let me try that. So. Well, you got a lot of awesome props in here. I love this room. This is, this is, this is the good grand finale right yeah. here. <laughs> So we have, you know, a lot of stuff we picked up, you know, from different places, from, you know, Reign of Terror, Sarcasmos. This is another one of Tim's props from the farm that he did. And, you know, you got the face that's come off of it. Yeah. And have a boom plate up there, which, you know, when people come by, you know, you hit them with that. And it's basically the electronic firecrackers. It's loud. And it yeah. usually startles people pretty good. 
So they That's come through cool. here and you know, we have a light that kind of short circuits. Yeah. So that runs through like a short circuiting thing. Oh, yeah. And, um, and so then you hit it with the boom plate and they're all distracted and they just get really confused. We were doing some texture on some of the walls uh -huh. um, for one of our rooms and you know, we were using great stuff. Yeah. And I ran out of the regular great stuff, but I had the fire block great stuff. So okay. I was using the fire block great stuff and I was like, okay, then we're going to paint it afterwards and then dry brush it, whatever. Well, the room that it was in was going to be lit with red light. Okay. And I was walking there setting up some light before we had painted it. And we found that the fire block stuff glows under red light. Oh. It, it just gives like a luminescence sort of look under red light. Yeah. So we decided to keep it and it looked really good. I like how you have a hand truck holding that, uh, yeah. <laughs> that guy up. That's cool. Yeah, that was another Gwen did that. <laughs> Gwen pretty much did all of this. I only put a few things up, but Gwen did pretty much... All, all the, the, all the decoration yeah. and, and everything throughout the entire hunt. Wow. So, you know, I put up like the boom plate, I, a few things that she had some difficulty getting hung up, I would yeah. do. Yeah. But for the most part, it was all, you know, Gwen doing it. Well, it's super so. fun. You guys did an awesome job. This is, Thank this you. is pretty, this is pretty cool. That's yeah. awesome, man. And you exit out, back into the real world. You know the chiller, I fill this up with ice. You know, it's just still a little bit of ice left from last night. Yeah, isn't it amazing how long that ice yeah. will stay in these things? And then in here, I have a little one and a half inch battery powered fan. Okay. With a five volt, you know, battery or a 12 volt 5 amp battery and I just plug it in and it blows the fog out and then I got a little battery powered fan here to disperse it throughout the yard because when it comes out it just wants to sit using the uh, fog it up uh, fog x nice you know the really heavy stuff yeah. so it's just really thick and all that and you know and I just light it I got a couple of these lights from uh, Amazon you get like two of them for like 20 bucks for these, they have six LEDs in there. Yeah. And uh, they come in two pack. That's cool. I mean, like 20, 22 bucks. I was like, great. You know, remote, our HOA makes it kind of difficult. Yeah. You know, for us to like totally do up the front yard like I, we did last year. I actually kind of like that though, David, because like when you first pull up to your house, you and you see the front yeah. you, you know you go you don't have no idea what's in the back yeah, you know? yeah so it's kind of a exactly. fun surprise david Gwynn, thank you guys so much for letting us come and tour your haunt yes so many awesome things from you guys i'm sure you guys did as well it's so much fun if you guys are ever in the santa clarita area around halloween you gotta stop by and check this one out it's totally worth it where can we find you guys online uh facebook uh shiver haunt scv uh, Instagram Shiver Hunt SCV. Um, that's Twitter. pretty much it. Cool. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, yeah I what? know. We all always go <laughs> <on> Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Twitter's and the And next year we're gonna figure out one. Snapchat. Nice. Cool. Because all the kids so. were talking about Snapchat last yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully this year I'll be, have the time to do the website. So awesome, awesome you guys. You know, which will be shiverhauntscv.com. Cool. Bye. Happy Bye. Halloween. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to the end of this hallway. <laughs> Man, yeah. this whole place is moving. No! <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> Boom! Did I scare you? And have to get Harrison in here and leave a little yeah. handprint or something. <laughs> that's what we should have been doing this whole time. <laughs> he would love it. I need to pick one of those up. Oh!
Let's um, let's get Harrison and do that. Aww. Forever. Creepy. Forever. Watch, that's the one thing that doesn't go away once they <laughs> drive. They're gonna be like, "Thanks a lot, Gina." She shed, she shells down by the she shed. <laughs> and she's like, you know, we're gonna make it a she shed. <laughs> you know, so it's the creepiest usually, she shed I've ever been. We usually have a female character in here. Yeah. And uh, you know, so <laughs> let's paint the wall. Here, Harrison, put water on that. What happened? Whoa. He's so gentle. <laughs> Slap it on there, buddy. There you go. Here, dip your hand in some paint. Get your hand wet and then put your hand in there. Okay, put your hand in there. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Fun, huh, buddy? Now put it right here. See? Nothing. <gasps> That's magic paper. This is a magic wall, Harrison. Is it blowing your mind right now, Harrison? Try it with the sponge again. Harrison, draw a circle. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Nice. That's a nice circle. Can you draw a square? I never thought I'd see my two-year-old son making this kind of art. <laughs> <laughs> You're a haunter now, Harrison, officially. That's fun, huh, Harrison? Look at that. We need to get one of these curtains for your room. Oh my gosh. Ooh, creepy. Happy Halloween! Scary!